What's up, pilots? Today, I want to talk to you about the T-Motor FetTech stack that I've been messing around with for about a month. Um, very short video, but I think it's going to be helpful if you pick this thing up, uh, just to know. Um, if you don't usually mix FetTech or KISS with a Betaflight ESC, this is going to like save you a ton of money, because if you don't do this, you're gonna blow all your motors up and it's not worth it. Trust me, I've already been through three of them before I realized what was going on. And I wanna show you guys exactly what you need to do to avoid this problem. Let's jump right into the configurator. I'll show you what's up. So first up, I'm running the Pacer 60 amp, which is advertised to be part of the FetTech stack made by T-Motor. Let's connect it up. And you're going to go to gui.fettech.net. And the first thing that you're going to want to check is that the signal type between the FC and the ESC is set correctly to D-SHOT 2400. I believe when it comes out of the factory, the default is different than this. Um, so you're going to want to verify by opening the FetTech configurator, going to ESC plus motor setup, ESC signal type, and verify that it's on DS2400. And you're gonna to wanna to save and power cycle the board after that, just to make sure that things are communicating correctly from the jump. When you get this board, there's no indication of what the front is. And it took a lot of trial and error to figure it out. Um, so if you're unsure, the gyro needs to be facing up and the ESC ports here need to be facing forward for it to be on the default con default orientation. So that means that if there was a arrow drawn going in this direction, this is what it would be printed on the board. Makes sense, I hope. Next thing to check is your BL Heli settings. I'm gonna pull up a screenshot right now and I'll show you, this is something that I got from Doom Rider. He got it, I think, from somebody else, or he worked it out with somebody else. So this is what your settings want to look like. The key thing is the motor timing should be set to about to 23 degrees. Um, and then the PWM frequency, which is typically set to a variable rate for the newer Betaflight settings. Um, but you're going to want to lock that in at 48 kilohertz. And apparently that's why I was smoking motors left and right was because it was changing the PWM frequency and it was just blowing things up. If you lock it down, you won't have this issue. As soon as I changed the settings, I had zero issues and things cleared up immediately. So just something to try and make sure that you verify that you've done this. Um, next thing is the motor settings. Um, so the order of the motors is quite different. Um, and I'll share you guys on this document as well that I'm referencing, but the motor order for the alpha flight, uh, flight controller is different from beta flight. So number one motor is the front right. Um, right front is number, oh, sorry. Left front is motor number one, right front is motor number two, right rear is motor number three and left rear is four. So just make sure that you um, check all this stuff. One more time, actually, we're gonna jump back into the config because, um, and I'm sorry, I'm going out of order here, but you also wanna verify that your prop direction is set to in or out um, because once you go through the motor testing process of verifying that motor one is motor one and motor four is four and whatever, um, you can still end up crashing if you don't actually verify that this setting is correct. So not only do you need the motors to be spinning in the correct direction and the motors to be assigned correctly to each pad, but you wanna make sure that it's set in the flight controller in or out, just let it know. Um, and you should have a pretty easy go of it after that. Um, small update on using this board is it's almost indiscernible from a regular FetTech board. Um, it seems that the ESC is pretty heavy duty. You get a little more weight with it. 
Um, I think you kind of get like a durability improvement with it, theoretically. Um, but yeah, like I, I really can't tell that there's a difference. The only thing that I notice is when I plug it in, you can hear the beeps. Beta flight beeps. Um, yeah, it's a good board. Um, would I buy it again? And am I going to switch to this for the next build? I probably won't. Um, I think for what I'm you for what I like and use, the Fet Tech stack is actually doing it for me. Um, and I think it's just a better value in terms of cost. But if I was doing like a heavier duty build and I needed that extra, um, like if I needed a 60 amp ESC, obviously I'd consider it. Um, and I mean, that's not to knock anything that they're doing. It's just, I'm not seeing the, the use out of it yet, yet. Um, so whatever, I'm still testing it. It's only been a month and I'll have more info when I have it. Anyway, if you guys stuck around, I appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next video. Please make sure that you are subscribed with the bell. See you very soon.